Good morning. Oh, you can do better than that. Good morning. Thank you. As I just told the family in there, this is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice in it. We will find we will find some good things in this day. Uh, you may be here with a heavy heart, but we're here, and we're going to try to take care of some of that. So. I'm glad I'm glad to see everybody here. I'm glad to see <laughs> Bless you, young man. I'm glad to see the, the, the family here and um I'm glad to see uh Lee's church family here. Um and you know, a lot of times you can get through things like this if you have a church family. So if you don't have one, I would ask that you Maybe try to find you a church family you can count on. So the reason why we're here today is we're going to talk about Mr. Ayers, or Punky, as y'all know him, or most people know him. And we're going to celebrate a little bit, and we're going to try to memorialize him. And, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping somebody will stand up and, Maybe give us a story or, you know, tell us what they thought about Punky. But we know um, that Tuesday, on Tuesday, January 18th, uh, right around 5.30 in the evening, Punky left this world. And he left this world. I will have to tell you, I was there. I was in the room with him. And he left very quietly. It was very peaceful. He was not suffering. So uh, he was preceded in death by his dad, James Ayers, his mom, Annie Booth, his sisters, Phyllis Jean Ayers, Eula Lee Ayers. He's got, uh, he had brothers that uh, preceded him, Robert Ayers. Hubert, Ayer, Hubert Earl Ayers, and James Lee Ayers. He has surviving brothers and sisters, Richard Ayers, Johnny Ayers, Lorraine Walker, and Punky's favorite, his fur baby, Gizmo. Um, also surviving are his girlfriend of the last nine, ten years, Anita. Um, he has two children, Sarah Lee and Clifton Thomas. He has grandchildren, um, and great his grandchildren are Josh Holdren and Amanda Holdren, and they're sitting up here. His great grandchildren: Chloe Holdren, Paxton Holdren, Raiden Holdren, Evelyn Almond, and Ryan Almond, and they're all up here. They're they were able to make it, and I'm glad that they are here for this. Now, I'm going to go into a little bit of scripture, and then I'll explain what's going on. I haven't lost anybody yet, have I? <laughs> okay, now, you, you, you're probably going to wonder why I'm going this route, and, I, and I'll, it'll, be, it'll be known to you in just a minute. Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 7, tell us, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for allowing us to be here today. I thank you for the blessings you've already bestowed on this family. Father, I pray that your presence will be here and the Holy Ghost will be here with us. And Father, I pray I pray that we can help with some healing in this, with these folks in here. 
They're going to be hurting. They're going to be, they're going to be crying. They're going to be wishing that he was still here. But Lord, the ultimate thing is your will was done, and that's what we must accept. So be with us. Let the Holy Spirit roam throughout here. Let it, let the Holy Spirit touch your heart if it need be, Lord. But thank you once again. Please forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, I do pray these things. Amen. So, from what I understand and, and talk, talking to some family members and stuff, Funky, for the last, I don't know, couple of months or whatever, however many, I don't know the actual amount, was seeking the Lord. You know, things were changing with him, and I noticed that, that when we got together the last couple times, there was a change in his attitude and a change in his overall behavior. But at that time, I did not know that Punky was seeking the Lord. Now, I think you'll have to agree with me. Punky was a straightforward, no-nonsense, stubborn man. Is there anybody in here that that can deny that? <laughs> um, he knew what he wanted, and he knew how he was going to go get it. But sometimes, sometimes it didn't always turn out that way, the way that he wanted, but he never stopped going for it. You know, and that's something that we can take to heart. Don't stop. If you're going for it, go for it all out. But, you know, apparently Punky still knew something was missing in his life. Now, he had a wonderful girlfriend. He had two great kids. He was his own boss. He was a truck driver. He got to go wherever, you know, they sent him. He got to see all this great stuff in the world, but it's still, still something was missing in the man's life. And what he realized, and what I think he realized, all those years he had known God, and kind of, they kind of went their separate ways, he was trying to get back to God. The Bible says we are to seek God daily. And Punky was starting to do that. He was starting to seek God, maybe for some answers, maybe for salvation. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know what was in the man's heart. But I'm happy to say that um, Punky was on track. Because if you go to Genesis 6-3, God tells you, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. In other words, God the Holy Spirit is not going to keep arguing with us. He's not going to keep fighting with us. Eventually, one day, God's going to say, okay, that's enough. I've tried. I've tried. I've wanted you to be in the family. I've wanted you to come home. But yet, you still desire the world. And Punky picked up on that. And Punky, I believe in my heart, that he knew he needed to get back to God. See, God don't force none of us to love him. God don't force us to obey his commandments. God gives us the choice. And I'm glad that Punky chose to go back to looking for God. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be thinking, well, 
That ain't the funky I know. Well, that, that's the funky I knew in the end. He was really trying. So, <clears throat> I feel like just by talking to Punky and, and picking up on a few things that he knew that he needed to and he wanted to get back to the Lord. And I think that's why he was searching. Psalm 105 uh, verse 4 says, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. We're, even, even folks in here that go to church and are Christians, we still are supposed to be seeking the face of God. We're to never stop trying to get to God. And from what I understand, Punky picked up on that. So, you know, that's a few things that I've, I've seen about Punky and I know about Punky. Is there anyone in here right now that would like to stand up or you can sit there and, and tell us a little something about Punky? What you remember, what you respected, what you thought? Nobody? <laughs> was it was it your house he had the 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 thing with the teeth yeah. <laughs> apparently he liked to take them out <laughs> Yes, I agree with that. Anybody else? I don't want to cut nobody off. I know all of you got memories. When I was little, Punky used to stay with us all, and Mom and Dad would go to the grocery store, and Punky would let us stay up past our bedtime. <laughs> cut nobody off. Now's a good time. It's a time to laugh and remember. Anybody else? Last chance. Okay, well, I'm sure after the service is over, if you want to mingle and talk, uh, that's just as good a time as any to talk about the memories and the good times. So we get ready to close out here. <coughs> oh, there went my other leg. <laughs> so, you know, Punky left here seeking God. And everybody's going to wonder, you know, did he find God? Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't know for sure. However, what I do know, that anything left between Punky and God to talk about has already been discussed, and any differences between Punky and God have been settled. Now, I will not sit here and tell you this or that or whatever. I just know that whatever him and God had going on, it's settled now. 
So I got a question for everybody in here. Are we going to follow Punky's lead? Are we going to start back to seeking God again? Are we going to try to find our way back to God, maybe where we've slipped a little bit? God brought us here, and God's going to take us out of here. You can't stop it. But in the meantime, you can work on your relationship and work on that relationship that is a beautiful relationship because he is the ultimate loving father. And if you don't have your earthly father here, you can always have your heavenly father to lean on. And I mean, you know, Jesus is going to be your brother. Come on. You know, you can't mess up going that route. So here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are you going to keep following the world and say, oh, I've still got time? Or are you going to go ahead and start working on that relationship again? Because I'm going to tell you right now, Punky on Saturday was going to, he had planned to go see his great-grandkids. Unfortunately, Punky ran out of time. We've all got good intentions, but we need, we need to act on them. We need to establish that relationship with God again. And those of you that know Punky and know now that he was actually trying, well, what's stopping y'all? What's stopping us? Nothing, absolutely nothing but self. So think about it. Think about it. So, unfortunately, Punky did run out of time. But I can't tell you he, he ran out of time. He didn't he did or didn't run out of time in order to get things straight with God. You're here. You still have time. Think about it. Now, Punky, from what I understand from Anita, Punky loved Amazing Grace. So at this time, before I dismiss you, we're going to listen to Amazing Grace. You may sing if you want to. And please do if you, if you know the words.
How about y'all go out and get you some of that amazing grace? Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord for understanding and knowledge and strength. He will help you get through this day. When, when Jesus left, he said, I'm going to leave a comforter. And that comforter is here to help us through times like this. So as you're going home or as you're talking to family, tell them you love them. Because you may not get another chance. And I don't know many people that don't want that last chance. If I just had a chance to talk to them before they left, well, you can prevent that. You can prevent it. But the choice is yours. God's not going to make you do anything. So at this time, I'm, I'm going to pray for us to, to leave. And then um, after we're dismissed, y'all can get together and talk. We still have a little bit of time that we have the room here. So if y'all want to mingle and, you know, some of you haven't. Yeah, don't forget the candy. Um, and we got pictures. We actually, we're actually going back to like the 70s. <laughs> we found film for an old uh, Polaroid. <laughs> So, and that that was based on the picture of Punky and Lee and Tommy when they were young. So we're going to try to follow in that style. But anyway, let's go to the Lord. Father, I thank you for allowing me to be here. I thank you for allowing me to be your conduit to speak your words, your words of truth. Father, we... We, we as humans tend to think that our way is the best way. But unfortunately, most of us find out that it wasn't. So, Father, be with us. Be with those that are seeking you. And if they seek you, you will answer. You say so in the Bible. So, Father, I pray that everyone had an open heart this morning, even though it's sad and, and they heard your word. I thank you, Father, again for the blessings of this day. I thank you for allowing this family to be together to help send off Punky. And not, not to be sad because he's gone, to be glad. Be glad. He's, he's not in the pain here on earth anymore. So I thank you again for those blessings. I pray you will be with each and every individual as they go out and to the world and into their cars and back down the road, wherever they may come from. I pray you keep them protected. I pray you keep them safe. Lord, we know you can heal. You can heal the broken heart. You can heal the sick. And you can heal the sick soul. So, Father, please, if someone calls on you today, may, may you... Talk to them and work with them, and may they accept you and your ways. Thank you again, Father, for being here. In Jesus' name, I do pray these things. Amen. You are dismissed. <laughs>